I'm starving. Gotta get the money, should have got on starving. Do it for my family, not to go round, boy. I swear I need these salary. Got a lot of bounce, yeah. Finna make it bounce, yeah. I'ma get the guap and get my mama out of hell, yeah. Oh, I got a motherfucking third eye Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Griffin GFX here today to teach you how to do the Y2K aesthetic. Okay, I'm in love with this aesthetic at the moment. It's proper fire, proper colorful, and cartoony. There's hella outlines. The outlines are the, probably the most important part. Choosing a cool font, getting your symbols. So, here's a little mood board I made to kind of show you guys the kind of Y2K aesthetic I'm into, what we're going to be creating in this series. So, you want to go and make sure you have the symbol pack. There's a free version of everything that I make and I've also got a huge font document full of Y2K fonts for you to check out. As we progress through this series, I'm going to be adding more and more assets to these packs. So if they look unfinished, it's just because I'm still adding things to them. So follow me on Instagram for live updates so you know when to reinstall the packs. Anyway, jumping into the first logo, I've decided I'm going to use the font Rodum. It's in the font pack. The first thing I do is I look at fonts and I look at symbols and try and get an idea in my head of what I want to create. Now the font's a little bit hard to read, but I don't know, that kind of seems to be what the Y2K aesthetic is. A lot of my favourite logos are more about the aesthetic and like the fluidity than actually how readable it is. So yeah, I've just typed out Y2K drip and what I'm doing is I'm just fitting the logo together like a jigsaw puzzle and I'm moving some of the edges around. So I had to rasterize the image so that I could copy and paste parts of the letters to make the whole logo come together a little bit nicer. Now that I'm happy with the shape of the logo, I'm going to add a stroke and I'm going to choose any color and then I'm going to rasterize the image again and add another stroke just to get this outline effect. And then I'll just delete the color so that we just have a clear outline. Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm copy and pasting the logo and then I'm going up with the arrow keys up and to the left just to make the logo look a bit 3D. I've done it about 10 times just so that it pops off in a different direction a little bit. I see a lot of Y2K logos do this. It really makes the logo pop once you've done that. Here I'm just seeing what the logo looks like if I fill in some of the dark areas and make it white instead. But I don't actually like that very much, so I'm not going to do that. But I am just going to fix a few of these areas. I'm now going to give this logo a proper 3D look using eye candy. It's a Photoshop plugin. I'll leave the link to that down in the description. There's a 30 day free trial. This is another way of making the logo three dimensional and giving it some texture and some pop without just doing the little arrow key trick that I showed you a minute ago. So yeah, definitely check out eye candy. You can also make your stuff 3D by using the like extrude effect. That's pretty cool. Probably make a whole tutorial on how to use it and like all the different effects that you can create using it. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. And this is the aesthetic that it's given us. I think it's absolutely fire. It's really bubbly. It looks kind of metallic in a way, like a liquid metal. I'm now going to let you guys watch some Y2K speed outs because I've been making so many Y2K logos recently for clients and just because I knew I was going to make this tutorial. I think this is going to be a series because I love the Y2K logos so much. So you're going to see me make more real time logos with you in part two. But yeah, I'll let you enjoy the speed outs for now, guys. That is me out. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Video. Peace.